we can't keep going without a nurse. Yep, I know. I've got three CVs to go over, if I can squeeze in. Yep, just shift that stuff over. A reference for Wendy Cooper? No, don't look at that. Capable of great benefit for who? Shortland Street, of course. <laughs> More like a benefit for your guilty conscience. Yeah, OK. But don't you feel just a tiny bit guilty, too? Not really. She wasn't very good. Well, I'm sure that Scotty will whip her into shape in no time. Scotty will fire her by Monday next week. Reuben. OK. Hope she proves me wrong. But I don't think so. Back to business. Um, this one? I can do the rest of my shift, but um, then I'm out for a few days. I know it's short notice, I'm sorry. No, oh, that's OK. Your mum needs you. I probably won't even be doing much, just pouring the tea, opening the wine bottle. All necessary tasks in the midst of grief. Mm. Thanks, guys. Do you want to take some of Tanya's shifts? Don't you have to ask your girlfriend first? What's Tracy got to do with it? Not Tracy, Helga. Well, Helga would rather we use our own nurses than casuals from the Bureau, so you're in. Actually, we've got quite a few extra shifts going now, so have a look and let me know what you want to do. Are you overriding Helga? No, no, no. She's predicting we're going to get busy very soon, so the temp budget has adjusted upwards. So I'm in the money. Just let me know what you decide. Did I mention I love Helga? Yeah. He'll get a job somewhere. He's very good with computers. Daniel said he fixed your mouse this morning, yeah? Correct. Did he get paid? Not really. So he's handy with computers, fine. But he needs to complete his studies before he graduates from handy to professional, from not really getting paid to rich. You need to finish your studies as well. You're speechless because you know I'm right. Allow me. Jeez. Uh, alas, poor Wendy. I knew her, Scotty. Are you rehearsing for something? No, no, I did know. She, um, she worked for us at the clinic by just a short stint. Minuscule, actually. Sarah gave her a reference, ticked all the right boxes. Hmm. The older nurses are usually more flexible with the rosters, too. Hmm. She seems keen. Hmm. But you're not. <laughs> Reuben, if I'm about to hire the nurse from hell, I need to know now. OK. How to put this nicely? Dancing in the workplace, is that legal? I just hit the overtime jackpot. I think that deserves a little disco. Thanks to Helga. You didn't. Well, I did. Should I know how you did it, or is that classified? Oh, wow. Well, it's all about the weather, right? Yeah. So Helga gets a local weather forecast, obviously. But now she's getting but it. But now she's getting it from Wellington. A little further south. Dunedin. A little further. Antarctica. Scott based to be specific. You are a genius! No, I'm just a poor, hard up student with a baby on the way. 60 bucks. I would have said 50, but thank you very much. Hey, and make the most of your overtime. A week max, and I'll be on to it. Well, then we'll find another way to deal with Helga. Maybe predict an earthquake or two, the All Blacks losing. You're on. Uh, FYI. Helga has just asked for two doctors and five extra nurses for the next week. Really? Yeah, that's a lot of money. Well, Helga hasn't been wrong yet. Yes, which is what has me worried. Is it OK if I stock up on some canned food and water in the office? I don't think it'll fit in my little hotel room. <laughs> Check the forecast, see if she's predicting a national disaster. You shouldn't laugh. I've done my research. There's no big events in town, no outbreak of norovirus. That pretty much leaves earthquakes and floods. Or the perfect storm. So? <clears throat> So, no rain, hardly any wind, and a temperature of 26 degrees Celsius. N no, minus 26 degrees Celsius. That's colder than my freezer. That's pretty much the end of the world. Well, Helga got it wrong. <laughs> Never. Get the IT guy on the phone. Would you like me to cancel the extra staff? Thank you. <clears throat> so, that was my qualifications. Is there another course I should be doing? It's more work experience. In the interview, you said that didn't matter. You're more concerned with how I related to the patients. Or was it my references? If there was a more positive job history, I'd have no hesitation. But good luck out there.
Back again, I see. To grab a uniform? I didn't get the job. No thanks to your reference. But I gave you a highly recommended sticker. Highly recommended for any position I might be considered suitable for. Isn't that the stock phrase when you're dissing someone? No, I didn't do that. Look, I don't work for you anymore. Let's just leave it at that, eh? There has been a serious breach of security regarding our new Helga program. Sorry. Initially, we thought it was a software glitch, but now it appears someone deliberately altered the program settings. <laughs> Somebody pushed Helga's buttons. Hmm, she pushes ours often enough, I reckon. <laughs> Losing thousands of dollars daily. I don't find that amusing. Do you? Which settings were changed? It doesn't matter. But I want to know who did it. Obviously, no one's going to own up in a meeting like this. So please come and see me directly after. And I might go lightly on you. Hang on, you know for certain that this hacker is a nurse? The nurse's password was used. Oh, right, well that's conclusive. Guilty, you're on a case sewn up, done and dusted. It's only the nurses who are whinging about overtime. The change in settings meant the nurses now received more overtime. Therefore... Oh, way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Not um, that I even know how to do that. Or ever would. Someone did. And I want that special someone to visit me by the end of the day. Pass it on. Thank you. Run back to work. Control, Alt, Delete. That's about the limit of my hacking skills. Sam, it's not necessarily one of the nurses. We sometimes leave our computers open and other staff use our logons. Doctors, HCAs, clerical staff. Orderlies. Whoever's passing and needs to get a job done, we let them. Because we're a team. So if you're going to blame my nurses, get some strong evidence first, please. You think I'm stupid? You think I wouldn't notice that Helga was operating at Scott-based temperatures? Sorry, you lost me at Helga. Yeah, I heard about that Antarctica thing. What's going on there? Just answer the question. 11.17 a.m. Where were you? Mm, working. I have security footage of you entering the nurse's resource room. Whoa, 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 whoa. There, little horsey. What exactly are you accusing him of? The nurse's password was used, Helga was accessed and tampered with at 11.19 a.m. Either you talk to me, or you talk to the police. <laughs> OK, I did it, so shoot me. What were you thinking? You didn't think, did you? Because one of the nurses put you up to it. And I want a name. Look, I was trying to help them out. They were getting a hard time. Give me a name. <sighs> Can't remember. Maybe the police will jog that little brain of yours. Uh, OK, hang on, OK. What, what exactly are we talking about here? Is there any financial loss? No, but there could have been. Yeah, but you're so smart, you picked it up straight away, so there's no actual harm done. As it happens, but the potential ramifications... OK, I'm not condoning it at all. Okay, but if this gets out to the public, I mean, it's going to make the hospital look pretty silly. I mean, Shortland Street predicts Ice Age, PR disaster, and didn't you just clean up a mess with Chris in a reality TV show? OK. You're off the hook, as far as... Thank you so much. And I'm truly sorry. As far as legal action's concerned. Hand over your ID card, please. Oh, come on. Give the kid a break. I'm terminating your employment effective immediately. What? You're fired, Daniel. Clear out your locker and leave the building. Mm.